good. Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the storage in the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S series. Some of these were sold with very small EMMC drives, which can fill up quickly. Luckily, they have an empty M2 SSD slot we can use to add more storage. Start by removing all the screws on the underside of the laptop using a Phillips head screwdriver. Note that in the model I'm working on, the two corner screws furthest from the hinge are different to the rest. Pay attention to the size and position of the screws as you remove them. With the screws removed, you can now pry off the bottom casing. It's held in place by internal plastic clips. In this case, I'm using a guitar pick. You could also use a spudger or a credit card. I found it easiest to start at one of the hinges and work my way around. If the laptop has never been opened before, the clips can be quite tight, but just take it slowly and don't force anything. Once you have enough of the clips loosened, you should be able to lift the cover off completely. Disconnect the battery first. You'll need to pull the connector up evenly on both sides to ensure it comes out straight and does not bend. Now we're ready to install the SSD. That's the empty M2 slot at the bottom right. You'll need a SATA M2 SSD as NVMe SSDs are not compatible with this model. Make sure you have the SSD with the label facing upwards and the pins towards the connector. Hold it almost level, just angled up slightly and push it carefully but firmly into the slot. In this laptop I had to manoeuvre the SSD under the edge of the small yellow CMOS battery. Also there's no screw for securing the drive inside the laptop. I used one from my pile of spares, you could also just use some tape. Once the SSD is in place, reconnect the battery, making sure you line up the connector properly and keep it straight on its way back in. That's my big melon blocking the process, but I'm sure you get the idea. With the SSD installed, it's time to replace the bottom cover. Line it up and press firmly all the way around the edge to secure the clips. Replace all the screws, paying attention to the position of the smaller ones in the corners. Your storage upgrade is now complete. In a future video, I'll show you how to configure the new SSD for use in Windows. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.